Good morning, everybody. Semi-retired Bob here. It is Thursday. This is the 8th, which means this is the 8th day of the September 1% challenge. Going out to get my walk in. It's just about noon, so I did a little better job of getting up today than I did yesterday, but still not doing great at that. I actually have to set an alarm tomorrow because my lab's or at 8.15 in the morning. I hope I don't f oversleep and miss it and have to reschedule because that means I'll get stuck in Omaha for another couple, three weeks. Because it just takes a while to get a doctor's appointment these days. I don't know if some doctors have gone out of business or more people are going to the doctor. I don't know what the, the cause is, but... You know, it used to be I'd call up the doctor's office because I've gone to the same doctor for many years. Um, and, uh, well, it's not the same doctor. It's the same health group. And used to be I could call up and get an appointment for within a day or two. Now, <laughs> if I'm lucky, it's a week or two. But, uh, yeah, I hope everyone's having a good day today. I know one person that's haven't been having a really good day the last few days, and that's Robin over on Simple Food, Simple Life. She is a, a very sweet lady. If you're not watching her, you should be. Because... As many times as I get told how inspiring I am, I'm just an old fat truck driver. Um, she is doing what she can to come up with an exercise program that works for her, and she's doing house walking and stair climbing. And if you don't feel like it's safe for you to get out and walk up and down the street like this, or you're not quite ready to do that and you just want to stay in your house, then by all means, go take a look at what she's doing. I think it's a really good idea. But uh, as you can see here, I want to talk about these YMCA shirts that I've been wearing quite a bit. Um, of course, this is a, a regular large shirt. And I didn't actually buy these. Once upon a time, I worked at the YMCA, and uh, I just thought of this while I was putting the shirt on today, and, and, and found it very interesting. Uh, Jill, the gal who was, in, who was in charge of the YMCA at the time, was cleaning out one of the storerooms, and found a big box of shirts, and it had all different stuff in it, and... She was carrying them out to the dumpster, and I said, "Well, heck, don't, don't, you know, don't throw them away. I'll take them." And I dug through the box, and when I got them home, and of course, I found it interesting that there were no, you know, two X and three X shirts in the box, which is what I could have worn. And what all these shirts were were leftovers. You know, the YMCA has challenges about every quarter that if you do certain things you get a t-shirt and they always ordered a few extras for those that uh, that that you know that would join late and didn't get signed up for a t-shirt they always wanted to have a few extras for for people that did whatever their challenge was okay oh let's see here there's a little sign that says Sunset lawn, this area chemically treated, stay off the grass. This is a good place to turn around. I am almost a whole nother, like half a block further than I went yesterday. So now I'll turn around and start this long, slow climb back up the hill to the house. But anyway, back to the YMCA shirts. I found it interesting that the box of extra shirts 
were all mediums and larges because they never had anybody that was uh, that wasn't signed up of that size to take an extra shirt but all the 1x and 2x and 3x's they never had any extras of which leads me to come to a, um, a mini thought that says perhaps going to a gym is not the best way to lose weight I'm sure it helps in fact I'm positive it does help in getting you more fit and helping you build lean muscle helping you look better and feel better all that is true but the actual weight loss well if it actually helped you lose weight wouldn't they have had 1x and 2x shirts left over instead of mediums and larges but anyway being the pack rat that I am I was digging through my basement when I got home this summer and found this box of shirts and thought yeah okay I'll set those up and get ready to get rid of them and then I started losing weight and now here I am wearing a regular large shirt which is kind of fun but uh, oh boy this is a big hill <laughs> but uh, the other thing I wanted to talk briefly about this morning was what we're all up against I don't usually watch a whole lot of regular TV because I've got an Amazon Prime membership which means there's plenty of stuff to watch there plus I have a Roku hooked up in my on the, in the TV in my camper and I just there's so much free stuff to watch out there there's really no point in paying for television but or I should say, except this time of year, because the one thing you can't get for free is college football. So I subscribe to YouTube TV streaming service, and I keep it for just the four months of uh, college football season. So I just started it a couple of weeks ago, and I'll cancel it in January. And then I won't watch it again until next year. But the commercials on TV, no wonder everyone in this country is getting so fat. If there's 10 commercials on during a half hour show, four of them are, are food commercials, or five of them are food commercials, and four of them are drug commercials. So, you, you know, they, they push the food at you that's going to make you sick. Then they push the drugs at you to relieve the symptoms of eating the bad food. You know, I remember as a kid kind of cringing a little bit inside because, you know, I was a kid. Every time feminine hygiene commercials came on and now it's almost like a relief because I don't have to watch another food or drug commercial of course I usually don't watch a whole lot of commercials I usually use that opportunity to get up and move a little bit oh but that was a pretty good walk I'll have to check on my pedometer how far I actually went but the numbers have actually been going up about 15% a day. So I'm doing quite a bit more than 1%. But 1% is where it's at. Um, oh no, yesterday's was uh, right at 10%. Or was it? I don't know. I know the numbers are going up every day. And I started off just walking down to the corner and back. Which was like... 
230 steps and yesterday's step total was 800 and something and if I had just jumped right in and gone that 800 and some steps I'm not sure if I'd have made it or not I don't know but anyway that's my walk for today I hope everyone has a great day get outside enjoy the weather if you can and we'll see you tomorrow